Hello friends, it's I, David. How are you? I'm okay. I'm definitely not in withdrawal, not craving anything, not uh, not jonesing for any dope, <clears throat> you know. I wouldn't mind having a doobie later, but that's, a, you know, um, that's different. I just wanted to touch base just uh, for a moment here, a very brief moment, is because uh, <clears throat> the health advisory in BC has uh, just uh, released the and, um, health advisory that the Comox Valley has actually experienced an increase in overdoses, an increase, my friends. After all we've been doing for the last couple and few years, beefing up the harm reduction meetings and, and opening up injection sites and getting VIHA and Health Canada and ABI and everyone on board doing art exhibits and all kinds of projects and neighborhood projects and so on. And um, we are still seeing an increase. Um, I just wanted to say that it's been reported as well that compared to last year's random testing of street drugs, last year there was about 15% of benzodiazepines and such sedatives in the randomly tested dope from the streets. And this year it has already jumped to 51% presence of benzodiazepine and such sedatives in dope, which is not responsive to naloxone. And uh, several um, like fluorozepam, etizolam and clonazepam do not even show on those test strips that they have now. Increase in overdoses. We're seeing people between 12 years old and 60 years old dying of overdoses is crazy insane and it's hard to take especially when a 14 year old or a 20 year old dies to one inhale of carfentanil carfentanil is starting to make its appearance in the dope scene a lot more than it used to as well Last year, in just November and December, there were 60 deaths related to carfentanil overdose. Just in November, December last year, and already this year, in March, they were reporting um, already 150, I think. So this year alone, there's probably around already around 400 people who have died uh, as a result of carfentanil overdose. And to this, this is just a message for people to come to terms and realize that you will die if you do not apply certain things to your using. These days, times have changed, you know. Go again, get your clean dope since it's available. Free clean dope prescribed. You know, go use injection sites if they will save your life. Still, the number one overdose killer is people using by themselves, on their own, with no one around. And uh, I know I've been six years clean, but I'll never forget, I'll always be who I used to be, which was an addict. And I know that an addict always hides by nature. By nature, you know, I was the same, you know, before even it got so dangerous out there, I was literally using on my own on purpose. It, it's that kind of a neurotic, kind of a dark, um, doom, kind of a, an addiction right? where you dwell in it best by yourself. So people be careful. There is one good piece of news and that is that zero deaths in BC have been reported by safe injection sites <clears throat> and, 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 and such places. Um, safe injection sites 
have reported zero deaths. That's great. That means they work. That means you can't use a loan. Not these days. Please beware. One love. Educate.